Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Before we get to today's video, I want to let you know that this is actually a sponsored video today by Fox and their movie called The Heat, which premieres on June 28th, starring Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy. Now for this video, since it's called The Heat, I thought we'd go ahead and make some twice-baked Chipotle-inspired sweet potatoes, because they are, in fact, bringing the heat. But before I get into that, let's take a quick look at the clip. Hello. Coffee? Bring a little more coffee than I probably should. <laughs> I, ah! oh Where's Larkin? I couldn't wait ten seconds. Ten seconds. What's so funny? You thinking you're gonna make me talk? Yeah, you're talking right now, dumbass. You know, you look like one of the Campbell Soup kids who grew up and became an alcoholic. Oh, surprisingly catty. You're a fucking genius. I asked you to stay out. So I need to go dump on him. How, are you not already doing that? How oh, you could come back up? You know, I can hear you. Shut up. Please, don't do anything crazy. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. What am I gonna do that's crazy? I'm a police officer, huh? I mean, what am I gonna shoot oh you in the God. dick? Oh my God, you said nothing crazy and that is a no, 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 no. Turn around, I need you to pass a polygraph. Put it away. Turn around. No. Don't worry, she's not gonna do it. She's not gonna do anything. Oh, okay, so you wanna just, you just wanna go and gamble with your scrotum and your testicles? Okay, gamble away. Mm. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. And as you can probably tell by both the background and the echo in my voice, we are in the kitchen today. And what we're gonna be making are twice baked chipotle sweet potatoes. Now these are more of an accessory to a meal. You can add them with whatever protein of your choice. They go great obviously with Mexican because we're using chipotle pepper here. And there's a little bit of prep involved, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta step it up a notch. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is actually bake the potatoes as normal, hence the term twice baked. So all we're gonna do is we're going to turn the oven onto 400 degrees, and I'll show you exactly how we're gonna get started. All right, so obviously being a sweet potato recipe, we are going to need sweet potatoes. I am choosing to use fairly large ones, and you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that they're pretty symmetrical all the way around because we're gonna be cutting these in half. Now, as far as this goes, we'll also be needing a teaspoon of chipotle powder and a teaspoon of cumin powder. So if you have these or know someone that does, that's great because if you have to go out and buy these specifically for the recipe, these things are fucking expensive for how little they are. We're also gonna be needing one lime and also four cloves of garlic. Now, as far as the garlic goes, if you're not a big fan of it or if you like it a lot, you can really alter the amount. Also need some chipotle peppers. This is all that my store had, but there are two of them that I used for this recipe. Also two cups of shredded cheese. I'm choosing to use reduced fat mozzarella. About a cup of chopped cilantro. Again, you can really vary this depending on your own personal tastes. And then finally two cups of spinach. So since this is a twice baked recipe, you're gonna have to bake the sweet potatoes as is. I recommend putting the oven at 400 degrees and baking them from anywhere between 40 to 60 minutes until they're soft. You then take them out and cut them right down the middle like I'm doing here and simply spoon the excess into a bowl. Now you're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit of flesh on the skin so they're not overly flimsy. I made the mistake of going too thin in some cases, but that's a learning experience for me. So again, just go through, cut all of them in half and spoon them into a bowl. Once you're done, you can go ahead and add your spinach. And the nice thing about this is you can see that the sweet potatoes are still very hot. And once you stir the spinach in, this will automatically wilt it for you so you don't have to cook the spinach. And I do have some spillage, which of course cleans up. So you're gonna put that in and then you're gonna move on to adding the other ingredients. Again, I suggest adding the spinach first just so it can wilt, but then I'm gonna go ahead and add the lime. I'm gonna cut it in half and just squeeze it in. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I figure this way I get a little bit of a forearm workout. A teaspoon of cumin goes in next, followed by a teaspoon of the chipotle powder. Now I know I mentioned it already, but I try to do this every video and just let you know that you can really add these ingredients as you want, more or less, or add in other things if you prefer. So I'm then gonna add in two chopped up chipotle peppers as well as four chopped up cloves of garlic. Again, this is really just based off my own personal taste, but what I would suggest is go light on the chipotle the first time you make this, otherwise it could be way too spicy for you. You're then gonna pull out your skins after mixing everything together and just go ahead and repack these. Again, my tip here would be go a little bit lighter at first because you don't wanna overpack the first few because that's gonna leave you with some very lacking potatoes when you get to the end. So once they're all packed to your liking, go ahead and chop up some cilantro and just go ahead and put it on top. Again with this, I know I've said it several times, I can't reinforce it enough, 
use as much or as little as you'd like. I'm tending to use a little bit more here only because I like it. And then I'm going to come back in and use some shredded mozzarella. Again, I'm choosing to use reduced fat. If you want to use that, great. If not, don't. Then once they're all filled with both cilantro and the cheese, I'm going to go ahead and stick these back in the oven for roughly 15 to 20 minutes until they're browned a little bit. And here's the finished product right here. Now per whole potato, so this would be for two halves, you're looking at roughly 340 calories, 43 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, and 10 grams of fat. The numbers on these are really going to differ depending on how much or how little you use, as well as the size of the potatoes. But as I stated earlier, these go great with any protein source. We chose to use some shrimp and spinach on the side, and they turned out great, nice and spicy. As always, everybody, thanks for watching, and stay big.